Okay, we've got a, another Talking Tales one now for you. It's going to be read by Grace Parler. This is another Twitter bio, so it's succinct. Uh, published fl flashback fiction, Rigwell to Press, 2019, long-listed Britain Prize and Tongue and Grooves, MA Creative Writing, Bart Spa, Tutor, Folk House, directs Novel Nights. And the next Novel Nights is at the end of January. Where? Uh, Square Club. Square Club in Bristol. It's a fabulous evening and you get lots of really cool people come and talk about their experiences of writing. So it's well worth it if you're around. Uh, reading her story, Mar how do you say that? Marguerite? Marguerite. Marguerite and the Moon. Grace Palmer. Marguerite and the moon. Marguerite held her breath, her nothing but mass scamper. Her belly fluttered as she rolled out of bed onto the rushes. Goodbye, mother, she whispered, dropping the latch. The moon was kind and hid behind clouds, and no one followed her along the lanes. On the quay lay baskets of purple mackerel, and the fishmongers bartered with the fishermen before loading the donkeys. The Padua was waiting, sails drooping as the crew loaded cloth. She found that aboard, queasy with the swell. And there he was, at the back of the boat, opening his cloak to cradle her, just as she'd dreamt. She leant into his smell of clothes, his nose grazed her neck, and his breath warmed her ear. As dawn broke through, the tide shushed, and they sailed toward the harbour mouth. I'll work as a seamstress when the time comes. See, are you practising? He looked at her invisible stitches. You'll do well, he said, and have found lodgings for us with the orange cellar. When the boat moored, soon enough, sure enough, the woman with oranges on a tray greeted them. He turned left to buy provisions, and the woman led Marguerite across the square where flower girls sang. The woman led her down narrow streets until they reached the red plank door. Up the stairs they went, passing a chalk-faced girl on the half landing. And inside, the room was shuttered, furnished with a single cot and a half candle on the floor. You'll be tired. Take some refreshment, little miss. Marguerite sipped the ginger liquid and settled on the bed. He'd come soon with bread and small beer. When she woke, pain cresting her belly, the covers were thick beneath her. And in the next room, she heard seesaw breath, a groan, and a bed rocking 